Well, I'm still here in St. John, Washington. This is kind of like Groundhog Day. I can't seem to get out of this, this town. But uh, we're sitting here in a park and uh, we're taking a break from photographing in the Palouse. And I wanted to share with you what I think is one of the more clever camera bags uh, that I've used uh, recently. And God only knows I've got a lot of camera bags. Um, I suffer from camera bag addiction. You've heard of that before. But I don't like to carry cameras on my back. And I don't like to carry large camera bags unless I really have to. A lot of the photography I do is shot out of the back of a car, back seat of a car. And I might have my full kit there, and based upon what I'm looking at doing, I'll load up uh, my pack safe bag here and wander out into the field with what I need. This is also my street photography bag. Let me show you some of the things I really like about it, but before I do, talk about camera bags. There's an awful lot of camera bags out there that you can pick, and I've used a lot of them. And they're all made by good manufacturers, and every one of them has nice features. So eventually you fall into one that just seems to work. And this one works for a lot of different reasons. I can carry an awful lot in it, and it's light, and it's actually very comfortable, which I think is one of the more important things to have when you're carrying a camera bag around with you. So let's look at the bag, and then I'll talk a little bit more about why I like this particular bag. This is the PackSafe bag. It's available both uh, from Travelsmith, is where I've got this one. It's a travel supply company, and also from B&H, and I presume other uh, catalog camera companies. You can see that it's quite small. It's probably about a foot by 10 inches by maybe 5 inches thick. It has a cross strap, and it crosses over rather than hang from your shoulder, although you can work that way with it, so it can slide around to the back of you, and uh, it's quite nice. What I enjoy about this is it's got a lot of neat little features. For example, this is a large bottle of water, so I can carry a large bottle of water with me. It also carries a small mini tripod with it. In my front pocket here, you've got double zippers, and it opens up quite wide. In this particular case, I've got filters, small tripod with my color cube, business cards in here, batteries, pen, uh, filters, all sorts of little goodies. Uh, in this. So I can carry a lot of things in the front. Uh, the actual camera part itself is a double zipper rather than a single zipper, so I can just grab a hold of the zipper, pull it back like this, open it up, Velcro it closure, so if you're working in the field you don't have to unzip it all the time, you can close it and let the Velcro hold on to it and then just open it up and access it. So inside here I've got a pack of batteries. I've got my uh, Sony with uh, uh, 70 to tw or 24 to 70 lens. I've got a Battis lens, and I've got my 70 to 200 zoom lens. And in addition to that, because I always like to stop at uh, coffee shops and places, I've got my iPad too. So this carries an awful lot of uh, material very nicely. When I'm working out of the car. I usually just load it up with the lenses I want, and then the camera is carried on its own strap. So I've used this in uh, Antarctica, I've used it in the Arctic, I actually have used it in many places. So if I'm going on shore and I can see that uh, you need a 70 to 200, uh, the camera itself, the extra batteries, and maybe a uh, wide angle, it's easy enough to put all in this kit and carry very smoothly without carrying a giant backpack or anything else. So uh, this has come in to be very handy. So we got a second pocket over here for additional bottle water, or like I said, I put a tripod in here. And when I work out of the car, this is also a very good system. Now I like this because it fits in my duffel bag when I travel, and I think this is one of the things about camera bags that are annoying. I put all my cameras when I travel with them into an airport security bag and wheel that onto the airplane, put it in the overhead, and got all sorts of lenses, cameras, and all sorts of things. I put my batteries, I put a lot of extra stuff in here. You can stuff it with uh, underwear, socks, dirty laundry, whatever you want, and it fits very nicely in your duffel bag. So the nice thing is, when you get to the location where you're going, you've got your big camera bag, and if you're going out on the streets to, say, the, the streets of Rome, just load up the camera bag with what you need, and away it goes. There are some nice security features. They uh, have steel wire reinforced throughout so that if somebody wanted to come, you just can't cut it with a knife or clip it or steal it from you. There's a lot of security features built in. This has a security little packet here so when you actually go down in here, you can 
actually have a, a little strap here to even secure it a little further so nobody can just pull it open and, and uh, take stuff from you. So, very convenient pack. I've seen it on sale for $100. Normal price is around $129, available from both B&H, Travelsmith, and I'm sure other places. It has a nice padded side case. And when I actually wear it, I just put it on, cross side, and away I go. And it slides nicely around my back and it's very comfortable. It has a shoulder pad if you want it. So, that's the PackSafe Travel Camera Bag. One I prefer to use at this particular point. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you on the Loomless Landscape.